Well, if you're tuned in to GLR Radio, we welcome you here to Galen Lamar's Galen Catholic High School, home of the Jays. Yep. Craig Johnson alongside yep. John Shook. We have uh, just arrived and we're ready to broadcast here. We've got four minutes left before our starting lineup announcements. And we're up here on the stage with a pretty good vantage point. We're, uh, we're at the far end of one end of the court, so part of the time our girls will be coming at us and part of the time they'll be going away, but we've got a great vantage point here to bring you the live action tonight. So we're an hour earlier than scheduled because the weather outside is frightful. Yes, it But inside, it is. it's quite the delight indeed. So we're looking forward to bringing you this live basketball action here tonight. If you are tuned in, please let uh, let your friends and neighbors know that we're an hour early tonight. We don't want our listeners to totally miss out on the action. Uh, the announcement went out probably about what time today? I'd noon, say noon one or one o'clock. One o'clock or shortly after. But they moved the game up a whole hour. So I want to thank you for tuning in. We've got sponsors here tonight for the girls' game. Yes, we do. We got uh, Aaron and Jennifer Grieve. Arlen and Rosalie Aarons, and Dennis and Laura Nightingale, and Gary and Viney Kruger. So I want to thank, thank those four for sponsoring this girls' first round tournament. So uh, we're uh, coming into the first round uh, here of tournament time. So uh, we're taking on the uh, Galen Catholic girls here tonight at 6 o'clock, just an hour earlier, like Craig said. And so uh, the winner of this game will play again on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, February 13th, and they'll take on either Akron Westfield or Trinity Christian. Uh, the Galen Catholic girls uh, coming to this contest tonight with 13 wins and 7 losses, and they're averaging uh, 48 points a game, and they're playing in the War Eagle Conference. And uh, they, uh, Addison Weber is uh, averaging 12 points, and Sydney Livermore is averaging 10 points for the Jays, and Caitlin Langle is averaging 9 points. For our George Little Rock girls, we come into this contest, and we play in the Siouxland Conference. They're coming in with four wins and 17 losses, and we're averaging 44 points a game. So pretty evenly matched there as far as points scored per team. McKenzie Post is uh, averaging 15 points a game for the George Little Rock girls. Courtney Dykstra averaging nine points a game. And Winona Steenhoven, six points a game. So we got a minute and a half here before the opening... Uh, announcements here and uh, the starters and uh, so and we'll have game time here tip off so we're going to let you hear from our friends at Northwest Consultants we'll be back right after this hello basketball fans Jim McConnell here inviting you to dribble down to Northwest Consultants in George so we can pass along a quote to you on your insurance policies we will screen our list of companies and then shoot you the best deal possible we're sure you will jump for joy at the low cost and great coverage we can give you on your home business farm auto health and life insurance call 475-2610 or stop in and see us at our office in george where you can have all your insurance policies in one basket go mustangs if you're getting mighty hungry well the best in the country is pizza ranch You'll be feeling really great when you're filling up your plate at Pizza Ranch. Cause life tastes better down at Pizza Ranch. It's where life tastes better, so round them up and head her down to Pizza Ranch. Whoa, that's good. Whoa, that's good. Yep, well. so we want to uh, thank uh, Justin, I believe that's his name, the AD, and uh, for giving us a place here to sit here to be on the GLR radio. So we're about ready here for the opening uh, announcements here. Very good. Good evening.
And the Mustangs are coached by Tyler Glanzer, assisted by Levi Judge. Wearing our black uniforms, and the uh, Galen is coached by uh, Brandon Schaefer. Assistant coaches Jessica Bodenkamp and Amber Timmons. And for the George Little Rock Mustangs, the starters is number one, a junior, Kayla Gherkin. For the Jays, number one, a sophomore, Addison Weber. For the Mustangs, wearing number three, McKenna Ahrens. For the Jays, wearing number 10, a junior, Caitlin Langle. For Mustangs, wearing number 14, Courtney Dykstra. For the Jays, wearing number 15, Sydney Livermore. And for the Mustang Gals, wearing number 23, Winona Steenhoven. For the Jays will be number 24, or 23, excuse me, Abby Dickman. And for the Mustangs, it'll be McKenzie Post, wearing 34. For the Jays, wearing number 24, Christy Lip. That's our starting lineups. Now our national anthem. Well, a nice job on our national theme song there. That's a young gal that stood up and delivered right there on the vocals for that. That's a, a big song and a big job done there by uh, young Lamar's Galen Catholic J. And that got the crowd all fired up. We're ready to go here. That'll be tip off time. And it'll be number 10, Caitlin Langle. Tipping off, tipping it to her Jays teammate. And now the Jays coming right at us here. Ball inside, tipped around. It's last put on the ground. And a nice lob over the top of the rim. Crystal Lip with a made basket there for the Jays. So Mustangs now on offense here. Erkin, ball tipped away there by uh, number uh, 10, Caitlin Langle there, out of bounds. So Mustangs will have to put the ball in play right here in front of the Jays bench. Post puts the ball in play to uh, Steenhoven. Steenhoven, a nice pass in there to uh, McKenzie Post, but shot got blocked. Post with the rebound again. Now back over to Post at the three-point line. Passes into Winona in the lane. Ball tipped away and ball easily taken away by uh, Gherkin, but shot put up no good. Addison Weber comes away with the weak side rebound. She'll drive to the top of the post. Now down to the corner on the left side. And a drive through the paint off the glass and good for Caitlin Langle. So our score four to nothing here with uh, one minute gone here in uh, play. So uh, Gert Aaron's with the ball now. Ball got tipped away by uh, into the backcourt again, but Aaron's retrieves it, and now uh, 
No over and back call because it got tipped there by uh, Lamarska. And now we got a foul on number one, Weber. One foul right away out of the gate for number one, Addison Weber. 5'5", five, five sophomore for Lamar. So Steenhoven now with the ball on the far right side there, driving the uh, baseline there. And Steenhoven stepped out of bounds as she was driving the baseline, so turnover there on the Mustang girls. <clears throat> Full court pressure applied by our Mustang gals. And ball tipped out of bounds by Winona Steenhoven. Good defense there, got a hand in the play. Pass way into the backcourt to Langle. She'll bring it up to the right side. And now top of the key. Over to the right side. The shot up and no good by number And rebounded 15. in the hands of uh, Gherkin. Comes away with the uh, basketball. Now Gherkin looking at the coach to set something up here now at the top of the circle. Passes over on the right side to Winona Steenhoven. Steenhoven a cross-court pass over to uh, Gherkin, and then Gherkin passes quickly into Steenhoven as Steenhoven cuts for the basket and put it in for two points for Winona. Two really long <laughs> cross-court passes that time ends up with a nice basket. Here's a fast break from Galen, and that shot is no good. The rebound put back is good, though, by Krista Lip, her second basket. Got too far under the paint, and that put back is good. 6-2 our score, 5-38. And counting down here in the first period. So Mustangs now with the ball. Way away from us here now. Another nice pass there by uh, Gherkin to Steenhoven cutting for the basket, but uh, just could not hang on to the ball, so a turnover on our Mustang gals. There's a steal oh. by the Mustangs. Caitlin, or... Uh, Gherkin. Kayla Gherkin took it away. Now she and gets Gherkin a nice puts pass a shot up. No good there, but Aarons runs the rebound down. Long rebound on the left side. Now ball passed into uh, Gherkin, and the ball got blocked there by uh, one of the Jays players. Now quickly ahead into fast break, and that secondary break. They're going to go around the right side. The 18-footer up and no good. Rebound to Langle. She'll put it on the inside. That shot's over the defense. No good. Rebounded, Rebounded by Gherkin. Gherkin right under the bucket here now, right in front of us off the stage. So Gherkin ahead quickly with the ball to the uh, Mustang front court. And a uh, little bit of pushing and shoving underneath there I've seen there, but uh, nothing called there. Aarons, we have a foul now. I believe it's going to be on... Uh, that's on Caitlin Langle, number oh, 10, yeah. okay. her first. And uh, she's kind of. Yeah, that's she right. She hit kinda, her elbow or something. She looks like she's in a little, little, pain. little bit of pain. Yeah, I don't know. She's going to stay in the game. The officials. Her and uh, McKenzie Post was kind of going yeah, at it. I seen collided. in the lane there as I looked away from the ball. But So anyway, Gherkin now with the ball. Gherkin driving in the paint and passes over to uh, Monona and no stepped on the out of bounds again. No, there is a foul called. Blocking foul on. Uh, yeah, that's the third team foul. That's on 23, Abby Dickman yep. for Lamars. So ball put in play. Dykstra putting a shot up from the free throw line, and she got fouled. Shot did not fall, so that will put uh, Dykstra at the line to shoot two here. That's already four team fouls now on Lamars. Galen Catholic, and Courtney that free throw is up good. Yep, Courtney's Dykstra's free throw is good. Second one on the way, and that's going to rattle Galen in, and good two. as well. Two points made. There's a nice pass on a fast break, and it falls in for number 15, Sydney Livermore. Made basket, a sophomore. So Gherkin now with the ball, passes over to uh, Dykstra, puts a shot up. Little 10-footer, no good. It's on the floor and collected by the Jays. And uh, Langle turned away. Now she'll go to the right side. A three ball up and good if it goes, but nothing. And, and, and Kayla takes the rebound and fast break she goes. Now passes out to Aaron's. Aaron's back to uh, Gherkin. Way cross-court pass over to uh, McKenzie. Or uh, 
Yeah, McKenzie that, Post. Yeah, McKenzie Post with the three-pointer. That's a good shot from McKenzie. Yep. 8-7 our score. 335 and counting down first period. There's a three ball, no, and a rebound to Winona. It's tipped around, or Dykstra tipped it ahead to Post. Post ahead to Kayla. Gherkin puts a shot up, no good. Little six foot shot there off the bang board, and here comes the Jays again on offense. Jays coming right at us here. Here's Langle going through the paint, no good. Oh, rebound it could to be Dykstra. A- Comes uh, Gherkin ahead, throws it into Post. Post puts a little four-foot shot up. All bounces off the rim. No good. Very well defended that time down. The Jays did a good job. Post's going to reach in on the back court. It's going to be a foul on her. First team foul on the Mustangs. Got a substitution coming in. It's Michaela Johnson coming in for McKenna Aarons. Eight to seven, our score here in favor of uh, the Jays. Jays on offense. Caitlin Langle now to the corner. A three ball up and no good. good. Rebound long out to Langle. Langle brings it around the right side. She's well defended. Turned away. Now they'll go to the top of the key. That shot's partially blocked. And And they uh, tried to save it from going out of bounds. But uh, Yep. They ran out of room. Yep. Johnson was out of, or not Johnson, Langle rather, was out of bounds when she touched that ball. So uh, Winona putting the inbound pass in there to uh, Michaela Johnson. Johnson across the timeline there. Johnson passes into Gherkin. Gherkin in the free throw lane. And uh, going to yeah. be a traveling call called on uh, Courtney Dykstra in the far corner. So another turnover for the Mustang Gals. 2.29 to go here. 8-7 to seven, our score in favor of the Jays. Oh, a nice a steal, steal the there. Pass. Yeah. That'd and be uh, Mustang ball on the possession arrow. Monona tied her up as soon as that ball got in play. And so, like you said, Mustang ball here now. Post putting the ball in play under our own basket here. Long pass into Dykstra. Now uh, Steenhoven into the free throw lane paint. Puts a shot up. No good. Gherkin with a rebound. Post now driving into the paint. Puts a shot up. And she got fouled and counted. it. <laughs> got the bucket to fall and took the contact. The shot counts. And she'll be at the line. It's the fifth team foul. That falls on number 2-4, Krista Lip. We've got a timeout on the floor for Lamar's Galen Catholic. 30-second timeout. We'll be back right after this. When the Pizza Ranch bell is rung, an immediate response of significant movement ensues. As the bell is rung, salivating becomes prevalent. These behaviors occur due to the pull of crispy hand-breaded chicken and the pull of hot, melted, real cheese on made-from-scratch dough with our fresh, manner-compromising sauce. And the appeal of our all-you-can-eat buffet can't be ignored. Pizza Ranch. And for delivery, give us a ring. That's the Pizza Ranch, home of the Pizza Ranch pizza. Yep, in George, Iowa. That's the best pizza there, Bert got her. Best pizza in the franchise. So Post at the line to shoot one here now. And count it for uh, Post there, McKenzie Post. Makes it a 10-8 score. Mustangs have come back to take the lead here now. On a three-point play from Post. Little backcourt pressure. Ten seconds is the call, and it'll be Mustang ball on the defensive pressure. That's maybe the first time we've seen that all season. I think so. A great job on defense there by the Mustangs. Kayla Johnson will entry pass it. Boy, nearly stolen. Mustangs get it over to Winona on the right side. Top of the key now around the left. Here comes uh, Gherkin. Passes, oh, wide open. Steenhoven was underneath, and uh, Gherkin got her the ball and count two points for uh, Steenhoven. Mustangs with a 12-8 lead. Galen breaks the press, now down to the low post. Nice pass underneath and a shot by number three, Chloe Bunkers. That's her first basket and a good offensive possession. After they broke the press, they had kind of a fast break within the half court, so they took advantage of that. So, uh, Mustangs Michaela, now. Yep, Michaela. Open a travel call Michaela on Michaela got her Johnson. dribble picked up, and she was stuck in a great tightness there. Couldn't get it to anybody and didn't really get a lot of help 
<laughs> from an no. open open uh, target. Once she picked up her dribble, she was stuck in the corner. Now here's Bunker. He's going to try the three ball. No good. And rebound by post. And we have a jump ball, and that'll belong to well, the Jays quick here. jump ball call. It kind of a catch and stuck, and so it'll be... Lamar's Galen Catholic inbounding the ball. A minute 14 to go, trailing 12 to 10 to the Mustangs. Here's the entry pass stolen away by Kayla. And now a foul. Kayla got the ball and got hacked from behind. That's on Bunkers, her first foul. And uh, that's the sixth team foul. Mustangs will inbound the ball now. Mustangs only one team foul yet on the Mustang gals. Michaela Johnson now dribbling the ball up into the front court. Passes it over to uh, Driesen. Driesen. Madison Driesen. And now over to Steenhoven. Steenhoven driving the baseline on the right side again. Got shut off there. Gherkin puts up uh, three. No good. Long rebound run down there by uh, Steenhoven. Now McKenzie Post with the ball. Oh, they're going to call McKenzie yeah. Post with a travel. <clears throat> Took off she kind of got her uh, catch altered by defense. There had a hand in her face and yep. took to the subsequent steps. So uh, Jensen into the game for uh, Gherkin right now for our Mustang gals. Here's a fast break again after the press break. Ball turned away, blocked out to the top of the key and a shot off the and they're gonna get side of the rim. No good. Foul on Winona Steenhoven here right in front of us, I believe. Yeah, yes. I believe you're right. Langle drove through the paint and uh, got herself free. That's only the second team foul on our Mustangs. Langle's free throw banks off the side of the rim. No good. She'll have one more to go. That one's up and good for Langle. Makes it 12-11. Here's a long pass in right to post, right at the half court line. She'll go ahead quickly to Jensen. Now Jensen, Jensen around the right side. In a little bit of trouble. Double team, double team there, but uh, Driesen, no, uh, Steenhoven come away with the ball. Now Post right underneath, puts the ball up. A lot of traffic there, and we're going to get a travel there. Boy, that's a Unlango, tough yeah. call <laughs> that, on yeah. Sydney Livermore. She came down and and did the uh, track Kinda, stretch there. Yes, she did. I think she had her one pivot foot uh, pretty solid there. Not a traveling call, but anyway, referee called traveling on her, so... Mustangs with 17 seconds now. Michaela Johnson. Johnson driving into the lane. That's going to be traveled. a turnover on the Mustang. Yep. She went with a good idea, but got the passing lane cut off and a caused turnover. her to travel. Yep. With 12.6 on the clock, 12-11 our score. There's a pass ahead. Here's a fast break. Once they got the press broken, no good and rebounded there by Steenhoven. And now the ball tipped out of bounds by. The Jays, 3.9 seconds to go in the first quarter. Mustangs got to go the full length of the court if they want to score a bucket here yet now. They need a catch and shoot here. They'll need to, they'll need to release and go. There's oh. a steal and a ball up and good if it goes no for good. Lamar's, but no joy. At the end of the period, it's uh, Mustangs 12 and Galen Catholic 11. So pretty well played uh, first quarter of a ball game here at the Galen Catholic Gym. and uh, yeah, Two so. very evenly matched teams here. The Mustangs had a two-point lead. It's a one-point lead right now. 12-11. So pretty nice crowd here for the uh, Mustang fans here as well as Galen uh, filling in quite a bit here. So, And the winner of this will go on to the next round of the tournament, which happens uh, on Tuesday night. Tuesday night, right? Yep, that's going to be on uh, Tuesday night at Akron, Akron, Iowa. And uh, the winner will go on to play. Ak- Akron Westfield is playing Trinity Christian right now, too, if they started at 6 o'clock. And so whoever wins over there, Akron Westfield or Trinity, that's who the winner of this year, tonight's contest, will go and play Tuesday night at Akron, Iowa. So this is a very evenly matched set of ball clubs here, and uh, each of them has got their strengths and weaknesses. Mustangs have uh, put a bit of a backcourt press on and caused one turn turnover in the 10-second count. Mustangs will begin the second period now with the basketball. 
I think the Mustang gals are just uh, more used to a little bit tougher defense on them, you know, playing in the Siouxland Conference. So, anyway, uh, Jensen with the ball passes over in the corner to Driesen. Driesen getting double team there. And it got knocked out of bounds by a Jays player. So, still will be Mustang ball under our own basket there. And uh, Gherkin put the ball in play to uh, Courtney Dykstra. Dykstra driving into the paint, puts a shot up and rolls over the top of the rim. No good. Rebounded in the hand of Aarons. Aarons now passes back out to uh, Gherkin. Was in a little trouble, so she got it back to Gherkin. And now back to Aarons. Now over to uh, Driesen in the far left corner there. Driesen way cross-court pass there to Jensen. Jensen put up a 10-foot shot there from the baseline. No good. That's a good rebound to Addison Weber. Ahead now in the fast break. The shot way short. It's going to be saved in, and it's and too. Saved in, and now we're going to have a, a jump, jump ball. ball, and that belonged to our Mustang girls there. Melinda Zubrod. A lot of hustle there by Aarons, too, to get that yep, jump Aarons ball. and Zubrod shared the possession for just a second. Yep. It'll be Lamar's Galen inbound. Oh, Lamar, oh they... Uh, Possession Must have changed arrow. the arrow there. Yep. They had it wrong, I guess. They've... There's the entry pass. It goes clear into the backcourt, which is fine. Yep. Nothing to panic about, and they didn't. They took it, brought it up. Now they'll go to the right side. And at the elbow, shot off the glass, no good. Rebound strong to uh, Oh, and Driesen going to pick up a foul is, there. Um, Langle yeah. made a, an attempt at a basket, got hacked from the side by Madison Driesen. That's Madison's uh, first foul of the night. And Langle makes the free throw here. Ties it all up at 12. Now it's a made free throw. Gives Lamars the lead again. 13-12, 6.55, second period. The Mustangs yes. into their front court. Now over to Jensen. Jensen brings it around the right side, turned around, brings it back. Going to drive through the lane, got cut off there now. Pass it back out to Aarons. And Courtney Dykstra with a three-pointer on the way, no good. Nice pass in there. And then now Aarons picks up the ball. Courtney again driving the baseline, passes over to Driesen cross court. Driesen Mustang's now. just very patient. That Driesen, Driesen puts a shot up, no good there. Rebounded. Boy, she got a lot of rebounds tonight already. Gherkin did. Yeah, that's another nice one. Mustangs retain possession. Yep. Here's Jensen with a three. No, no. good. Rebound again Oh, to and the now Mustangs. the Mustangs get another chance, Dykstra. and Courtney Dykstra puts it up for two points. We'll take it. Yep. Several possession Keep. opportunities there. Second Keep. chance points. Keeping the ball alive pretty good there. There's a three ball from Lamar's. No, no good. good. Rebound ahead to Gherkin. She's going to take it on a full stride. Now quickly ahead to Dykstra. Dykstra going to go. Oop. Dykstra just was going to take a shot. Now there's a, there's a three, three pointer ball. by Gherkin. No good. Good defense to stop the fast break. Now Lamar's in their secondary break, swinging it around. They'll try it inside. Shot off and. No, no good. good off the rim. Jensen comes away with the rebound there for the Mustangs. Jensen uh, had an idea to go all the way, but the defense got back there for the Jays and now back in the corner to uh, Dykstra. Now into Driesen. Driesen passes over to uh, Aarons. Oh, and oh, a skip and pass stolen away by Langle. Langle on a fast break. Nobody stopped her, and she's oh, fouled she's on the get way to the basket. Oh, she's by uh, Jensen. Jensen picked up a foul there, and so that's uh, her first foul of the night which will put uh, Langle at the line. First one's up and uh, rattles out, no good. So our score still remains 14-13 in favor of the George Little Rock Mustang Gals. So Galen Catholic trailing 13 to 14. Langle's free throw And now ties it's tied it. up. The second one is made. Timeout on the floor. A full timeout to the Mustangs. We'll be back right after this. Northwest Iowa Grain and Crane for all your grain handling needs. Take advantage of their winter discounts now in full swing. Their competitive price advantage means you get what you need at the right price every time. 
but book early before their year fills up. We move bins.com on the internet and from A to B as well. Yes, they move bins, buy, sell, and service them too. Located on Highway 18 between Hull and Boyden. Bins.com is the website for Northwest Iowa grade and grain. We move bins.com is a destination for anything you need to handle your grain. Looking anywhere else would be in vain. Call Northwest Iowa grain and grain. We move Northwest Iowa, Green and Crane. Yep, and we want to thank um, Aaron and Jennifer Grieve, Arlen and Rosalie Aarons, and Dennis and Laura Nightingale, as well as Gary and Viney Kruger for bringing you this uh, first round action of tournament time here in the Galen Catholic School. So 5.08 to go here, 14-14. We're all tied up here at the Galen Gym. Mustangs with the ball now. Full court press being put on here by Steenhoven gets Catholic the ball into uh, Gherkin finally. Now Gherkin uh, bringing the ball across the uh, timeline over to Aarons. Aarons now uh, looking to get it open inside there. Girls have been moving the ball around very good and doing some good rebounding our George Little Rock Mustang girls. Courtney Dykstra back over to uh, Steenhoven drives into the paint and the ball oh, man, did rolls that at the top of the rim <laughs> and <laughs> goes in there for uh, Steenhoven. 16-14, Mustangs with the lead here. Here's a drive in the right side. Nope. And a oh, and a charge on call on number 15. Livermore. And who took that? Uh, Steenhoven did. She stood well, her ground no, there. Stood her ground. And just knocked her right down the ground. It was right in front of us here. So uh, good defense there by Winona. Winona comes away limping just a little <laughs> bit. I don't know if that's... Uh, Pretty she hard got hit. A smile on her face, though. Yeah, that, she does. Took that charge. That takes everything. Uh, takes all the pain away. So. Mustangs will bring it across now. 4:30 to go. Gherkin, second period. Yep. Gherkin with the ball. Pass over to Aaron's. Now over to and Winona traveled with yep. the ball. There had the idea to drive to the bucket there on the baseline and uh, just took a little step before she put the ball down. Mustangs with a 16-14 lead. 4:20. Here's a lip. lip now to the top of the key. That's going to wow. rattle in for three. Addison Weber, 17-16 now. Lamar's Galen Catholic that's, Jays take the lead back on a three-pointer. That's Galen's first three of the night here. Now Post with the ball underneath. Puts it in for two points. Count two points for McKenzie Post. So we're on the teeter-totter here. Mustangs back on top, 18-17. Weber. Tough defense the by the Mustangs. Yep, here's an 18-footer just inside the arc. No good. And rebound to Winona. Steenhoven. Here comes McCote. McKenzie Post all the way. Pass across court over to oh, Gherkin. Did you see that Gherkin pass? Gherkin. Yeah, nice pass what from Post to pass. Gherkin. And what a and, catch. And Gherkin puts her in for two points. Now it's 2017 Mustangs. 331. Ball oh, and now ball a, out of the reach there of number 10 Langle. Good defense by so, Kayla Gherkin. I think she may have gotten a finger on it, pushed the ball a little bit higher than the intended target, and out of bounds to the Mustang. So Gherkin inbounds the pass to Dykstra, back over to uh, Gherkin. Gherkin now, three-point lead here for the Mustangs, 20-17, 3.20 to go in the second quarter. Post now with the ball, Post at the uh, three-point line, passes, oh, oh. oh, it's a steal by Weber, yep. pass way too lackadaisical and for Weber. Tournament basketball, yeah. and it was a steal by Weber. And so a there finish. goes Steenhoven, coast to coast, and now Steenhoven can't put a shot up. It passes to Gherkin, and nice. Gherkin puts a shot up for two points there. So 22 19 in favor of the Mustang Gals. We call that a secondary fast break. Gherkin caught everybody sleeping. Oh, there's a there's going to be a foul on Gherkin there. No shot. It's going to be at the uh, on the floor, but it'll be a foul on Kayla. That's her first. Yep. Kayla's got four points on a couple of nice made baskets. Here's the entry pass to no the good. Jays. No There's going to be a jump ball, I would say. Yes, it is, and belongs to our Mustang gals. The arrow favors Mustangs. Michaela Johnson checking in for Aaron's now during this timeout. So right in front of us here off the stage, uh, Winona Steenhoven will be putting the ball in play for the Mustang gals. And here now, it comes. Now uh, Gherkin with the ball, getting kind of a... A little pressure there. And now the ball oh, taken the away there. Oh, and now it's going to be a foul, foul by Michaela Johnson. Picks so. up a foul on that shot. So 
Yeah, yeah. Livermore worked her way to the line. Great steal, and then uh, got fouled on the way to the basket. 22-19, our score. Livermore going to try to cut into that here with the free throw opportunity. And does. Yeah, Makes does. the first one. It's 20 to do. 22 now. Lamar's trailing by two. Galen Catholic at the line with Sidney Livermore, and that free throw's up and good as well. Makes it a one-point ball game again. 2.34 to go here in the second quarter. Gherkin with the ball now. Bringing it across the uh, timeline. Steenhoven now. Oh, oh and ball got tipped there got now. Tipped. It's they got to take it away. Care of There's the ball. your fast break to Weber on the shots up and, and good. Good there for Weber. Addison Weber makes it a one-point lead for the Jays. And now here come the Mustangs. Now back over to Dykstra. Dykstra got the ball oh, tipped a, out of her hands, and another uh, there's steal Weber there. again. Fast break off the glass, no good. Steenhoven with the rebound there. Here comes Post with the ball. Quickly ahead there to Gherkin. Now Gherkin's going to hold it up a little bit there. Getting double teamed there now. Now, now a good outlet and a tip. Oh, ball over Got to make Mustangs some good Dykstra. passes here. Take care of the ball here. Now McKenzie Post with the ball there on the far right side. Cross court pass there to uh, Steenhoven. And Steenhoven could not handle it. And now Steenhoven's going to pick up her second foul of the night as she was. Uh, yeah, and that's the seventh team foul now on both teams. So, so Galen Catholic will be at the line with uh, Langle at the stripe. Dykstra sitting down and uh, Madison Dreesen back into the lineup for the Mustangs. Free throw up and they're going to rattle good. in good for Langle. Caitlin Langle has got gives the, a two-point lead now. to. I think she's got five made free throws already, Langle. Yeah, I believe she's got seven points and make it eight. So that's six on free throws and one on an inside the paint yep. shot. Minute so. 34, and now Lamar's Ooh, with a just about out lead. of bounds there. And now she did step on the line. <laughs> Gherkin did. Just her heel band on the b- line, out of bounds. and Just stuck in the corner there. Referee right to there to see it. So Good position by the officiating crew there. Right One, where she needed to be. 124 to go here in the second quarter. Weber, now they'll swing it around the top of the key. Langle. Now again to Dickman. Dickman inside, ball oh. stripped away, it's yes. retained, but it's stolen. And now it's stolen time. away there by yeah, Gherkin. Gherkin passes quickly ahead to McKenzie Post. McKenzie Post, a foul. You're going to say it's on the floor, the foul that, before yep. the shot. So will, McKenzie will be, go to the line to shoot one and one. A foul was before the shot, so uh, Post at the line now to shoot one and one. Yeah, free throws up hey. and good. 25-23 our score. A minute five left in the half. Been a back and forth battle between these two teams. Post free throw up and no nope. this time. Rebound to Weber. Weber will bring it towards us here. A minute to go as she crosses the timeline. Two point nice lead for the Jays. Right side to Langle. Langle will get it back on the right side. Drive into the paint. Nice move by Langle. Shot too long. Weber collects the weak side rebound. And Dickman. Ooh, taken away again there by uh, Gherkin. Mustangs had it stripped away by Weber, but there's Michaela Johnson. And now ball Look at the tip, tipped away again, and here comes the, the Jays corner. again with the ball. Neither team hanging on to the ball. Too well. Worth their salt here tonight. Here's a... Good defensive stand here by, here's a three ball on the way from the corner, and, and that's good for Langle. Caitlin Langle now. That's her second three of the night here. Five-point lead now for the Jays, 28-23, nine seconds to go, and another turnover on the Mustang girls. Passed clear across court, and just nobody there to catch it. So uh, we're going to have to adjust here at halftime and cut back down on our turnovers if we want to come out of here winning the game here tonight. Langle takes it strong. And oh, got a, and he got a hard hit. Driesen down on the floor, and it's a charge, charge foul on, on Langle. Langle. So Driesen took the charge. Yep. That's her second foul on Langle. But Driesen hit pretty hard. I don't think she feels very good. You know, <laughs> <laughs> One second. Michaela, no foul on the play. So, and the... 
time expires here. After 23-28. Yep, 23-28. And a very, very evenly matched team here tonight. Um, one thing, we match up well with them. You know, all the girls are about the same height. We, we might have a little height advantage when uh, Driesen and Dykstra's in there. Uh, usually when we're playing in the Siouxland Conference, uh, they got to shoot over some tall, tall girls there from Sioux Center and uh, Rock Valley. And, um, right. Yep. And, so uh, we are in the halftime zone. We've got about a 10-minute uh, break here. We've got 18 turnovers here. And eight turnovers on Lamar's Galen. Yeah, so that's where we're going to have to cut the, back on those turnovers. That's the tail of the tape. There's ten more turnovers than the opponent. That's been a little problem all year kind of for our girls, you know. So uh, hopefully we can get things uh, back uh, going here in the second half and uh, come out of here as a winner tonight. Indeed. Well, we're going to take a break here and let you hear from our sponsors. And we'll be back in ten minutes with the second half. This is Annette Maggart, Security Savings Bank, George. Will you have enough money to enjoy a golden retirement and reach your other long-term goals? Have you taken advantage of the tax deduction for a traditional IRA? Or have you started the clock ticking for tax-free earnings on a Roth IRA? I have over 25 years' experience with individual retirement accounts and can assist you in selecting the right IRA for your situation. We will help you secure the comfortable retirement you want and deserve. Security Savings Bank, member FDIC. basketball fans, Jim McConnell here inviting you to dribble down to Northwest Consultants in George so we can pass along a quote to you on your insurance policies. We will screen our list of companies and then shoot you the best deal possible. We're sure you will jump for joy at the low cost and great coverage we can give you on your home, business, farm, auto, health, and life insurance. Call 475-2610 or stop in and see us at our office in George where you can have all your insurance policies in one basket. Go Mustangs! If you're getting mighty hungry, well, the best in the country is Pizza Ranch. Well, don't forget to stay tuned. At the end of this broadcast, we'll be picking our Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game from the Mustangs here. Uh, sponsored all season long by the George Pizza Ranch. We want to thank them it's for their sponsorship. It's better, so round them up and head her down to Pizza Ranch. Whoa, that's good. Northwest Iowa Grain and Crane for all your grain handling needs. Take advantage of their winter discounts now in full swing. Their competitive price advantage means you get what you need at the right price every time. But book early before their year fills up. We move bins.com on the internet and from A to B as well. Yes, they move bins, buy, sell, and service them too. Located on Highway 18 between Hull and Boyden. Bins.com is the website for Northwest Iowa Grain and Grain. We move bins.com is a destination for anything you need to handle your grain. Look at anywhere else would be in vain. Call Northwest Iowa Grain and Grain. We move bins.com. to one of the best internet radio stations around. You're listening to the GLR Radio Network. Well, we've got about six minutes to go here till our second half, so stay tuned on the GLR Radio Network.
ask you a question. And then you can. All right, I'll let you run your mic there. Well, we're back here. Two minutes to go here. And uh, we've, we've got a little... We've got a little bit of a question here. You got that a little, little oh. too hot. You hear that? Okay. This one's not even. Okay. This one's not even on. I have yep. a, uh, I have a question. Well, you, ha you have a question. I have a question. As we drove down here, as we drove down here, a question. Have you heard? Have you heard this? Anyway, when we drove down here, there was oodles and oodles and oodles of birds on the road. Every mile, Oodles. a and lot of them, flocks of big, them. Big flocks so there's right something the about that. Why are birds on the road? And I notice it always when it is snowing. So, Craig, so have you found the, out? Have you found the answer to that? I have an idea. I have a theory. But if you have the answer out there in Radio Land, send it to us in the form of a simple message service, an SMS or a text message. Yep. But I, ha I have a theory. You do. Um. They know that that's where all the cars are. That's true. That's that's got to be what it is. But you don't have to worry about hitting them. They fly away. It's not like deer. They seem like they want to fly away from the cars. But there's a lot of birds on the road. Always when it is snowing. I've noticed that before, and there was a lot of them tonight as we drove down here. So theoretically, they are trying to find a dry spot to land, right? I don't know. I thought you said maybe that. They was looking for salt. Oh, they are looking for salt. On the road. See, and they probably know that the county and the state are out salting the highways and thinking they're yep. going to get salt. I don't know. They uh, There's a whole battery of birds. Does that make it a salt and battery? You know, I never thought of that. <laughs> that was really <laughs> Could that I kind of. You know what that I kind of fell into that deal. <laughs> that that was terrible. That Look, was bad. Yep. You know what that was. <laughs> That was I I'm glad. I, I, I'm glad that the horn went off, and we're starting the second half. That's what I'm glad about here. We're ready. So ball Four. will belong to the Jays as we start the second half here. Twenty-eight to twenty-three, our score here. At the sound of the gong, we'll begin. Yep, there we go. Here we go. So Langle with the ball, driving into the free throw lane. No ball foul tipped. called in. Winona comes away with the rebound, going to drive all the way and puts a shot up and no good. Rebounded in the hands of Weber. Too oh. strong, and Weber gets fouled from behind. I think Winona reached in from behind. It's going to be her third foul. Weber will take it quickly ahead to Langle. Langle going to drive in the paint. Stuck there by good defense, but a foul committed as the Shot was attempted. No shot on the uh, and that play was, went up. But that she was on the, Gherkin, huh? Her she's second She's in the foul. act of shooting, so she'll have two free throws. And that first one's no good. Still 28-23 here as we just begin the second half. Winona coming out and uh, Madison Dreesen coming in in her stead. Langle will put the free throw up and good. It makes it a 29-23 ball game. Langle with seven free throws made already tonight. She's been at the free throw line a lot. So Gherkin now with the ball. Pass ahead to Aarons. Now back over to uh, Gherkin. Back over to Dykstra in the far right corner. And Aarons drives in all the way. Puts a shot up. No good there. Rebound in the hands of uh, the Jays here now. Here goes Langle now along the right side there. Closely guarded there by Aarons. And Weber a three-point shot. Oh, no, it's a two-point shot there by Weber. No good. A free throw and attempt, now a no jump, good. Jump ball between uh, Gherkin and uh, Weber. Ball arrow uh, favors the Mustang girls. So seven minutes to go here in our third quarter. 29-23. Ball tipped away there by number 15 is Livermore. Yeah, Livermore nearly with the steal, but knocks it out of bounds in front of the Galen bench. So Aaron's with the ball, put her in play to McKenzie Post. Post almost lost a handle on it, just uh, dribbling alone there, but uh, recovered there. Here comes Gherkin. Now passed over to Driesen in the far uh, left corner here, right in front of us. Driesen, cross-court pass to Aaron's. Now back over to... Uh, Nice pass there from Dykstra to Post, and then Post over to uh, Gherkin. 
Was that Gherkin that finished yeah. with two points, huh? Good finish for Gherkin. Yeah, nice passing there by the Mustang Gals. 29-25 our score. That's what they got to do to get back into this uh, game here. At uh, There's a oh. made basket and a foul. By Dickman, is that? Yeah, that's uh, Abby Dickman. Yep, and so she'll be at the line to shoot one. That's the third foul on uh, Gherkin. So Mustangs have two girls with then Dick Emmons uh, free throw is up and good. So Kayla with six points and three fouls. Now brings McKin- it across the timeline. <clears throat> McKenzie Post now up there with a three and in and out. No good there. Rebounded there by uh, Dickman. Quickly ahead to Weber. 5.55 on the clock. Weber... Keeps her dribble alive. Goes around to the left side to Dickman. Dickman will drive oh. it up. Same play. Got it up off the glass and good. 34-25. So Dickman with a five points so far tonight. Mustangs over to the right side. McKenzie post backdoor pass. Long cross court to Dykstra. Dykstra will take it across the top of the key. Now the ball on the Make. floor. Long pass to the corner. And uh, Gherkin with a three-point try. No good. Rebounded by Driesen. Driesen puts it back up. No good. And here comes the Jays. Thrown and out of bounds. It's so a good to, defense by the Mustang. Yep. So 5-13 to go. 34-25. to Jays lead here by nine. 30-second timeout to the uh, Mustang. Tyler Glanzer called a 30-second timeout. We'll be back right after this. This is Deanna Peterson of Security Savings Bank, George. We are proud to be a local community bank with an emphasis on community. Our staff enjoys taking part in area events and helping with local activities. You too can show your community pride by using our spirit checks, featuring the George Little Rock Mustang logo. We also offer choice checking with no minimum balance and no service charges. Stop in today and become part of our community here at Security Savings Bank of Larchwood, Inwood, Canton, and George, member FDIC. Thank you to Security Savings Bank. We are look, looking at a 5.13 on the clock. There's the entry pass into Dykstra. Dykstra. Dykstra in the corner there, driving the baseline. Now had a pass open. Oh, now another ball Tipped taken away. away. Weber takes it and ahead to uh, That's Livermore. Livermore. Now Livermore to the right side. There's a drive in by Dickman. That shot's no good. Livermore tracks it down. Now to Weber. Long three ball. No. Weber tracks her own rebound down, but lost the handle as she tried to get it into the corner. Seemed like the first half, the Mustang Gels was getting the most all the rebounds here now, and we just uh, not uh, re- yeah. rebounding well. They're 0 for third period here on rebounding. I believe you're right. McKenzie Post now with the ball, driving uh, in the side. McKenzie puts a little seven-foot there shot up, and a nice, nice job there by McKenzie Post to put her in for two points. That breaks the ice for the Mustangs here. Yep. The first time in a long time. Livermore stops at the free throw line. Now to Langle. Langle driving in. Going to get fouled fouled. on the way to the basket. Makes the basket. And Langle again to the line. She's got 12 points. And a lot of them from the free throw line. I think you said seven or eight. Yeah. Seven maybe. Two, four, six, seven of them already. So she is at the line to make it her eighth. That foul was on uh, Driesen. And does. Gets it to drop. Makes it a 10-point ball game. Biggest lead of the night here for Galen Catholic. So Mustangs need to get something on offense here. Ball tipped out of bounds by Livermore right into the Mustang faithful. Michaela Johnson uh, back in the game here for Mustangs. Putting the ball in play right in front of our uh, bench. And... uh, Trying to find to open the girl. Finally gets it in there to Dykstra. Dykstra passes over to Post. Weber Just too swipes high it away. Post can't handle it. And, uh, oh, and no the good. Weber blew the bunny shot. Michaela comes out of there with it. And two uh, Galen girls still down on the floor on the other end. She's going to be called for a travel. Travel call on Michaela Johnson. But we have a Galen girl still on the other end. Must have got uh, hurt there. But two Galen girls got was hurt. down on the floor. I don't know what happened. Yeah, Fisher Eater. Official timeout. I think that's uh, 
Is that Livermore? That's 15. Yeah, Livermore yeah. sitting Livermore. down. Not kind of. Yeah, she must have collided with the teammate, or did think, the yeah, teammate stay to help her with the teammate. So here's Langle kicked it yeah, out of it's bounds out of, off of Langle's foot. Out of bounds indeed. So the Mustangs will have the basketball. 37-27 our score. 3.54 to go in the third quarter. Mustangs trail by 10 here. So Mustangs going to have to step her up here and make some shots here. Take care of the ball and there's a pass over to Driesen in the far corner. Driesen driving the baseline. Stops. Pass it back out to Post. Now over to Dykstra with a three-pointer up and on the way. No good. And ball rattles around. Langle takes wow. it. Travel. A travel call there. Langle, I think, rightly so, thinks she was fouled. Yeah, and she caused the she travel. Probably was. <laughs> oh, boy. Mustangs will have the ball here. 333, trailing by 10. Pass into Driesen. Now Down over to, to post. post. And now they just run. Um, Michaela Johnson right down flat, so that's going to be a foul on. Uh, see what number Balls that on is. Number one oh, that's, oh, that's Langle there. So two quick uh, calls against Langle, one a foul and one a travel. I think she's got three team uh, fouls too. Langle does. Yep. Ball into uh, Gherkin, back over to Michaela Johnson. Now over to uh, Dykstra in the far right corner. Michaela Johnson, nice pass from Michaela Johnson to Gherkin. And Gherkin got fouled as she's going to try for two points here. So uh, Abby Dickman from behind blocked the shot but ran into her with the body. So Gherkin will be at the line to shoot two. 37-27. Free throw is no good off the back of the rim there. Second free throw for uh, Gherkin. Is up and uh, good. Count that one for uh, Gherkin. Seven points for Kayla. 318. The ball rattles around. There's a foul on the way to the top of the circle. I think that's going to be on Kayla, perhaps. If it is, that'll be her oh, fourth foul. that's her foul. fourth foul there. Emily Jensen five team, coming in in her stead. Yep, five team fouls on the Mustangs. Two on Galen Catholic here. Langle, or... Uh, Traveled Dickman, there. Rather, traveled as she took the entry pass. Nine point lead here for the uh, Galen Catholic girls. 314 to go. Here comes Post across the uh, timeline into Mustang's front court here. Post now with the ball passes into Driesen. Driesen turns Good around, job. puts a shot up, and count it for Driesen. Nice pass from Post to Driesen to finish off with two points. So we're back Mustang's to a seven point to trap lead. here in the, in the high court. Seems to me the Mustang gals could do that all night there with Driesen down there in the low post. Weber off to the right side. Dickman inside the arc. Shot up and oh, good, good from 18 foot for Abby Dickman. Dickman with uh, Dickman's got seven, seven points thus far in the contest. Dykstra down in the corner. Long skip pass to Post. She'll Post try puts a three. A three and no. no good there. Runs her own rebound down, but no. Got taken away there by uh, Weber. Weber so. to Bunkers. Bunkers across the timeline. Gets it back to Weber. Now over to Dickman on the left side. And now down to the corner. A long, long floater there by Weber. Addison Weber playing a great, great game here for the Galen Catholic Jay, she's got yep. nine points. Weber and uh, Langle, both uh, good players there for uh, Jays. Michaela Johnson with the ball now. Passes over to uh, Jensen. Jensen right over here in the corner to uh, Driesen. Driesen picks up her dribble, passes back to uh, McKenzie Post. Post now over to uh, Jensen. And the ball just too hard. But boy, Dykstra run it down. And timeout time called. Timeout, Tyler Glanzer. Boy, I almost uh, full almost time out. out of bounds on yeah. Dykstra. She was fortunate to keep it in bounds. So very true. So we got a full time out here. Forty one to thirty, our score, eleven point lead for our for the Lamar's Jays. And uh, so stay tuned here. We got a lot of ball game left here.
basket. Go Mustangs. Go Mustangs is right. Thank you to Northwest Consultants. Season-long sponsor and many nights uh, girls game sponsor. Thank you very much indeed. 136 to go here in the third quarter. Win or lose here tonight. Remember, tomorrow night we'll be back home when the boys get three boys games and they take on MOC. So we'll be back home in George Gym there tomorrow night. Nice pass in there to Driesen. Driesen passes back out to Post. Post uh, driving in the paint. Passes over to Jensen. Now over to Driesen at the free throw line. Michaela Johnson going in all the way and got fouled and counted for Michaela Johnson. It's a solid move from Michaela. Yes, it was. Brings us back to within 10. We're in the third period, a minute 20, and it's 41-32. Now Michaela back to nine. With a third point opportunity here. And no good no there good on the free, the free throw. throw. Weber takes the rebound for the Jays. So Mustangs trail by nine here with a minute 13 to go in the third quarter. Langle with the ball. Passes over there to uh, Weber. Weber. Now to Bunkers. Ooh, nice bunkers, shot off no the good. Rim, no good. The putback is going to be, oh, look at that fake. But a, blew the bunny shot on the putback. Dickman now to Weber. And Langle travels, travels while she... Decides what to do. Yep. She took extra steps, and that'll be a turnover to the Mustangs. 51.3 on the clock. So 49 seconds here in the third quarter. Ball passed over to uh, Jensen. Now, oh, a long court pass here. Driesen, Driesen with a ball. Somehow. Passes and a three over ball to Dykstra. Dykstra. Puts a three up and no, no good. Rebounded there by Michaela Johnson. Now Post driving the lane. Got the ball taken away from her. Weber and takes it all, all the way. way. Weber puts her in for two points here. The Mustangs had an inside the post. So Weber would be shot and 11 points here. 21 seconds here now. 11 point lead for the Jays. Dykstra looked at a three again there. Michaela Johnson behind a three point arc. Passes into Driesen and Driesen oh, puts and a shot got up. It to roll over to the top yep. of the D. But she got fouled there by number 23, Dickman. Dickman, that is her um, fourth foul. Fourth foul already on Dickman. So uh, Madison Driesen at the line to shoot two. Got it. Yep. Nice. Got it, got it, got it. 43-33. Back to a 10-point deficit here. Madison Driesen with uh, Rachel Langle in, a 5'11 freshman. And quite likely related to... Caitlin Langle, who's been playing so well here tonight. And second free throw is up and good, too, for Dries in there. So Langle into Weber. Ahead to Jessica Langle. Caitlin Langle now with the ball driving all the way through. Blocked as the ball went up. The shot was blocked. Went out of bounds off the Mustangs. One second and no tenths. Literally a catch and shoot only kind of amount of time. And they won't get a shot off. Nope. <laughs> they did I not the get a shot off. Clock that didn't start right away. <laughs> I don't didn't. think either because she took a couple of dribbles. I yeah. thought that horn should have sounded before that. So after three quarters of play, 43 Jays, 34 for our Mustang Gels. So it's a palindrome. 4-3-3-4. Four, 4-3-3-4. Three, three, four. Four, three, three, four. Yes. So we'll be back right after this. Yep. Northwest Iowa Grain and Crane for all your grain handling needs. Take advantage of their winter discounts now in full swing. Their competitive price advantage means you get what you need at the right price every time. But book early before their year fills up. We move bins.com on the internet and from A to B as well. Yes, they move bins, buy, sell, and service them too. Located on Highway 18 between Hull and Boyden. WeMoveBins.com is the website for Northwest Iowa Grain and Grain. WeMoveBins.com is the destination for anything you need to handle your grain. Look at anywhere else would be in vain. Call Northwest Iowa Grain and Grain. WeMoveBins.com. Northwest Iowa Grain and Grain. 
Green and cream. So we got uh, eight minutes to play here. Hey, no time on the clock here yet. There we got it now. So we're ready to go here now. Jays with the ball here to start our fourth quarter out here. Jays with a nine-point lead here. Bunkers will inbound to Weber. Weber will take it and put it up a shot. Wow, right, right in there. Right from the free throw line and just dropped it in. It's almost before the defense could even get set. She just pops and drops. Weber with 13. 34. Ooh, and a travel call on uh, Jensen. Jumped up to try to pass and uh, no, nowhere to go with it and uh, come back down. So uh, 45-34, 11 point lead for the Jays here now. 7.40 to go. Langle gets it into her teammate. And teammate a travel traveled. call. So we've got it to Bunkers, but Bunkers had just tiptoes on the sideline, had nowhere to go, and ended up traveling trying to stay in bounds. Unforced error by the Jays. Down to the corner to Winona. Winona driving into the paint there. Puts a shot up and good. Count it for Winona. Yep, got the roll. Nice move there by Winona. Weber takes it across, 725. Left in the ball game. Bunkers top of the key. Bunkers. Oh, and that tr- should down. be a traveling Travel call. Yes, she it is. Kept the ball. So that's a so. travel call on the. Bunkers, right? Right. Yep. So back to nine points there. Here comes McKenzie Post now with the ball. Passes over to Dykstra. Dykstra over to Post again. Working the ball at the top of the circle. Post driving in all the way and got fouled. And before the shot, I think they're going to call it. Yep. So Post will put the ball in play right in front of us here, in front of the... uh, and that foul is on Melinda Zubrode. 25, huh? There's a pass into Dykstra. Takes a Dykstra two. at the free throw line. Puts a shot up off the back of the rim. No good. And that's going to be off of Mustangs there, referee say, say it's so. off the Mustangs. George Little Rock crowd didn't quite agree with that, I guess. But uh, looked like a good call to me. The ball and out Driesen. Oh, Driesen stole the ball there. Big job there by uh, Madison Driesen. Now Dykes with the ball. Post putting a three up there. And no, in and out there. No good. Rebounded. Uh, yeah, Weber just takes Weber. it. Doesn't pick up her dribble. And got fouled on the way to the basket there by Weber's really Post, come, come on fire here in the second half uh, yep. for now the Jays. The foul is going to be on Winona, her fourth. Fourth foul. Jensen coming out. Six thirty-nine to go in the game. There's Langle, the younger. Shot and no good. A rebound to Kayla. Kayla ahead to Dykstra. Dykstra held up. Passes over to uh, Driesen. Now over to uh, Steenhoven. Steenhoven driving the baseline there. Tries a Got pass. Got a little bump on. Uh, and now Steenhoven gets the ball back again. And gets it over to uh, Driesen, so Mustangs regain control. Here comes Dykstra now driving in, but nope, passes back out. Over to Winona Steen over now to McKenzie. What a three-second call there by the referee. McKenzie Post just ready to put up a three. And referee calls a three-second count there on the Mustang girls in the lane. So good minutes there for Rachel Langle. Sits down. Now here's oh, a ball. What a long pass there. Over the head to Caitlin Langle. An and easy points there for. Fast break all the way down over the defense. Was that the Dickman made that, I believe? Yeah. No, Langle oh, made the basket. Oh, but okay. Dickman, I think, threw the pass. Oh, okay. So credit them for Dreesen the, now. And there's Weber with a steal. Just too, too active in there. Yep. Takes the ball away. 47-36, our score. 5.42 to go. Langle and there's going to be... A, Winona. She's going to be disqualified here if that's on her. That is going to be five fouls if it is on Winona. Yes, it is. And she is clearly not ready for the season to be over. Nope. So Winona will be taking a seat there with her fifth foul with 5.40 to go in the, uh, in the fourth quarter here now. So that puts Langle at the line to shoot um, one on one, I believe. Yeah, it's the one on one bonus. Seventeen fouls against the Mustangs. That free throw, free throw up and good. good. 
for Caitlin Lango. Her 18th point on the night. Yes. And nine free throws made and count it uh, ten free throws made for the night for uh, Caitlin Lango. So Lango really playing lights out here. Got 19 points already. The Lango girl from uh, Post now with the ball top of the circle. Ball tipped. Tip, Lango got a tip on it. Yep. That's going to be Post. Three-pointer three. up there by Post, and no, no good. Rebounded by Driesen. Driesen puts it back up and count it for uh, Madison Driesen. That was McKenna, I think. McKenna Aaron. Oh, McKenna right Aaron's yep. was it, really? Oh, I, yep. I guess I just... They were both looking. there, but McKenna took it right out okay. of the sky. So here's Bunkers. Ball swiped away. It's going to go to the sideline. She's got it. Tipped by Post. Five minutes left, 49-38. Mustangs need a stop here. And Dickman gets through the paint, gets a shot off, and fouled on the way to the basket. Let's see who that's on. That's on uh, Madison Dreesen, I think. Yes, it is, Madison Dreesen. Madison's third foul, eighth team foul here in the period, or in the half, rather, 457, and the free throw up, and no for Dickman. Bunker's checking out, and we've got Kate Hill, 5'7", sophomore, in for the Jays. Free throw of it and good for Dickman. For Dickman. So Dickman with eight points here on the night. Gives the Jays a 12-point lead. Mustangs need everything to go right for a while here. Dykstra, Dykstra with a three. Out. No good there. Shots just will not fall here in the fourth quarter for our Mustang gals. Wow, and that's going to be a foul on this number Screen. Yep. <laughs> screen had run Dickman. directly right in. Yeah, Dickman set Post. a screen and Post did not see it coming. Didn't get any nope. memo from a teammate either. That's uh, traditionally just... <laughs> you're not the only one in the backcourt, but she was hustling for it. Knocked Took it a right pretty down. big shot there. Just like a football blocking foul. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So, so we're a one-on-one here now. Dickman's Dickman. going to go to the line here. After setting the screen. No good there. Rebound, and Dickman tracks down the rebound. they will take it baseline. Stepped on the baseline. Mustangs with good defense. Forced her out of bounds as she tried to tightrope her walk down the side. Stepped out of bounds. Seems to me Mustangs really got out-rebounded in their second half here, too. Which didn't help matters any. Now Dykstra with the ball. Passes over, and Dykstra in the corner. Looked at a three now. Girls got to be shooting the ball. And there's going to be a double, double dribble, dribble called on uh, Kate Hill. Hill, huh? Had the ball and double so dribbled it. McKenzie Post now putting the ball in play under our own basket into uh, Dykstra. Dykstra over to uh, Gherkin. Gherkin bringing the ball around the left side. Now McKenzie Post passes over to uh, Aarons. Post looked at a three. Oh. Maybe got touched a little bit there by number 25, I thought, there, yep. Zimbrod. But. Ball out of bounds to the Jays. There's a release again, a long yep, pass long down pass. the court. Weber gets down there, off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound, keeps it for the Jays. And there's Langle going to take it on the secondary break and off the glass and good. There's Post now coming. For the Mustangs, going to take it through the paint. Turns a little and bit good to the there for right post the there. 52 40. Kate Hill now threading the needle through the defense, gets it to Langle. Langle blocked. Shot blocked, gets her own rebound. The putback's no good and knocked out of bounds. It'll be Mustang basketball. 3 30 on the clock. Mustangs trailing by 12. That differential is. Pretty similar all period long here. Mustangs have cut into it a couple of times, and it's been as much as uh, 14 or 15 by the Jays. And they had it down to seven at one time here, it seemed like. Uh, yeah. So here comes Post, Post at the free throw line, puts up a little jumper, no good, rebounded in the hands of uh, Gherkin. Gherkin puts a shot up under the basket but got fouled, so uh, shot did not fall, so she will be at the line to shoot two. Substitutions coming in here for the uh, Jays. Dickman sitting down to a 
Nice applause from the Jays Rach fans. Rachel Langle in, and uh, Gherkin's free throw is no good. Bounces in and out. So Kayla Gherkin's second free throw is up and count it there. So uh, makes it an 11-point game here now. Bunkers now off to the races, trying to thread through the defense. Ball tipped. It's into the hands of Weber in the corner. Now around to the top, Kate Hill. Now down to Zubrod. Zubrod into the corner. Dribbles it now to Kate Hill. Pass underneath to Langle. Rachel's got it in the paint. Now Kate Hill will take it around, dishing it back. Nice pass back to Bunkers. And Chloe Bunkers hits the three ball. 54-41. And here comes Post with the ball there. Getting heavily guarded. Post puts a little shot up. No good there. Rebounded in the hands of uh, Weber. Weber bringing across the timeline. 2.33 to go. Weber passed in the corner. That's a two ball there. No good there. Dykstra comes away with a loose ball. Here comes Dykstra down the court quickly. Into the corner. Dykstra seen an opening there and got blocked there by number three. A foul. On, that's Bunkers. Uh, and that's her. Yep. That's the team's seventh. So that would put uh, Dykstra at the line to shoot one and one. So 2.19, the clock is stopped. Mustangs trailing here by 13, 54-41. And that free throw is up and good for Courtney Dykstra. Courtney will size up the next one. That one's on the way and good. Good do there for Courtney. Got a quick timeout on the floor here to the Mustangs. Courtney's got six points. Kayla Gherkin with eight points. Michaela's got a two-pointer. Kayla Gherkin with 13 points, right? Oh, no, eight points. You're right. Yep, I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Dreesen, who's got four points. Mackenzie Post with 13 points, leading the Mustangs. And uh, Langle for the Jays, leading all scorers with... 21 points tonight. Just been a, a real presence here for the Jays. So here comes the entry pass. They're going to try the long ball again to Langle. Gets down there. Tracks it down. Somehow ends up with it in the paint off the glass and hits it. Three Mustangs around her somehow got the shot up anyway. Michaela Johnson now to the left side and gets it to Courtney. Courtney is fouled by Bunkers. Bunkers, so Courtney will be at the line to shoot. Should be. Unless Aren't we just shooting? out of bounds. No, it must have just been out of bounds. There was no foul call there. Dykstra with the ball now in the far corner. Dykstra got tripped up there, but no call made there now. And Langle. Out of hustle there for the ball. And finally, uh, and it's going to be a traveling call. <laughs> Number 25 <laughs> rolled yep. over. Uh, end over end. And that ball is was in her possession. That's considered a travel. 13-point game here now. 56-43. A minute 49 to go in the fourth quarter. Michaela Johnson with the ball passes over to Post. A little bit too high a pass there. And here comes away with uh, Weber. Weber shot too strong. The putback is good by Zubrod, and she's fouled on the made basket. Everything's going their way here in the I second half so. for the Halen Catholic Jays. Zubrod free throw up, and no. No, it didn't no hit good. nothing, no. So that is maybe the first thing that's gone wrong here was, in the second uh, half. Who was that last foul on the Mustang? Do you remember? No. 32. Yep. Dreesen. On Dreesen. Okay. That's Madison's fourth foul then. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little conference going on, and now the ball will be inbounded by the Mustangs. Minute 35 left and counting down. They need to move fast if they want to get cutting into this lead. Gherkin's yep. going to drive it in. Fifth. Ball fouled. 25, I think the foul is on. Zimbrod, right? Yeah, Zubrod has got her 
Second foul. Minute and a half to go here. And a 15 point lead. Gherkin's free throw is up and good. 58-44 the score. Gherkin's ninth point, chance to make it double figures here from the free throw line and does. Mustangs need a stop here, get it into Weber. Now to Langle, Langle across the front of the top of the key. Now they'll get it down to Bunkers. And Zubro traveled as she tried to make a basketball move. So good defense there by the Mustangs. And now they need, uh, they need a quick basket here. Michaela's got it in the front court. Comes Michaela Johnson, passes the ooh. And, and Zig doing, she should have yep. zagged. That's a uh, just going to hit the target the, there to, to get it to Kayla. Minute 13 to go here. Here comes uh, Jensen checking in for uh, Michaela Johnson now. 58 45, favor of the Jays. Weber takes it into the backcourt. Getting heavily guarded there by McKenzie Post. Weber lost the handle on it, but it might be getting close to a 10 second. Nope, and a timeout called by uh, Galen Catholic coach just, there to I avoid say, a 10 second. So, Brandon. Yeah, just in the nick of time, I would yes, say. Yes, I'd say it was getting close to a 10 second call. I think it was a minute 13 on the clock, and it's a minute four now on the clock. Oh, yeah. So he called timeout yeah, with a in, second to spare. Yep. So, we're going to keep it right here. I want to thank our game sponsors here tonight. Aaron and Jennifer Greve, Arlen Rosalie Aarons, Dennis and Laura Nightingale, and Gary and Viney Kruger for sponsoring this game here tonight. First round of the tournament here in Galen Catholic. It's been all Galen here in the, the second, second half. half. Yeah, we uh, was playing right with them and, uh, and ahead of them there in the first half. And uh, I just thought our girls was going to uh, keep playing here a good ball game and come out winning, but uh, just kind of got out rebounded here in the second half. and. Also, maybe just outscored, and we know that they got outscored. So, here's the entry pass. Langle takes it. Now off to Bunkers. Bunkers going to drive all the way through the lane and dish it to Weber. Weber back to Bunkers. Around the top of the key, Langle is fouled by, by uh, Emily Jensen. Jensen. <clears throat> I think that's Jensen's second foul. Now we're talking about double bonus. Double bonus, double bonus yeah. So Langle will be at the line to shoot two. We know that she's been spot on, but that's a rare miss. I think maybe the only miss. Yeah, I think she had one more. From her all, all night from the free throw line. She's got 10 made free throws and, and 11. 11 made free throws, 59 45. And we're down to 47 seconds here. She's got 23 points, so 11 of them are from the free throw line. McKenzie Post now with the ball, driving in, puts the ball up. No good, a little short shot there. McKenzie gets a rebound, puts it back up, and now we're going to have a jump ball. Referee right here in front of us calls a jump ball, and that will belong to the Mustang girls here now. Right in front of our uh, bench here. Gherkin ready to put the ball in play. Gets it into Jensen. Back over to Dykstra. Dykstra. Driving into the paint. Dykstra got pushed around and a travel call. They're going to call on Dykstra. She got knocked clear should've, to the hardwood. Yeah, should have been a foul called, I thought. But uh, so 27 seconds to go here. 59-45. 14-point lead here for, oh, what do we got? Referee called a timeout for himself or what? He's checking something out on the clock. He didn't think the clock started. So they're going to reset okay. the clock? No. I don't know what it is. They didn't do nothing with the clock. There's a long pass. Langle and lost it. Bounced Jensen on the ground Jensen with the ball. Here comes Gherkin driving in all the way. Gherkin puts the shot up and got fouled there by um, Zimbrod. So that'll put Gherkin at the line again to shoot uh, two. Free throws, no good. Just short, just the front of the rim there for Gherkin. 
Second free throws up and no good as well there. Rebounded uh, to uh, Zimbrad. Langle with the ball now. Getting double teamed. Ball knocked out of bounds by McKenzie Post there in good defense. So Jays will have the ball. 11.8 ticks left on the clock here in this game. 59-45. 14-point lead here. Double and a dribble double dribble the, call there. <laughs> entry pass came in to yep. Rachel Langle. So 10 seconds left, 10 clicks on the clock. And Mustangs will bring it across the timeline. Post is going to drive through the paint. Post Takes puts her away. up it's and no good there. The no good. Post will go at the line yet with 3.9 seconds here left in the game here. And to shoot two free throws. And that shot is up and good there for McKenzie Post. It's 14 points for her on the night. Chance to make it 15. And that they does, does huh? fall for McKenzie. We've got a lane violation. Oh, on so the, is it on the, on the shooter, I'm afraid. And I think it's... So then the, the, the basket does not count. The basket does not count. And here's the entry pass. Post, taken takes away. It Post takes it away. Puts and it on the ground nope. and tries and to. The horn went off, and that's the final game here. 59 for the Lady Jays and 46 for George Little Rock Mustangs. Well, a hard-fought game here for the Mustang girls. Uh, just uh, second half just was not their game. Just could not get a shot to fall and a uh, few turnovers and uh, got out-rebounded kind of from the Lamar's Galen. And, but uh, very evenly matched, really as far as heights goes and uh, players and so uh, could have went either way and uh, just didn't uh, bounce the ball just didn't bounce the right way for the uh, George Little Rock Mustangs now so 55 turnovers on the oh, don't on even the game ooh. 31 for the Mustangs 24 for wow. the Jays so wow a lot of turnovers <laughs> a lot of turnovers game. yep so we're going to take a quick break and come back with our Pizza Ranch Impact player of the game right after this you're listening to Mustang Basketball on the GLR Radio Network. Stay tuned for the Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game. Well, our Pizza Ranch Impact Player of the Game is uh, Kayla Gherkin tonight. And... Uh, Kayla ended up with 10 points on the night, but just was in the mix all, all night long. So uh, Kayla Gherkin, our Pizza Ranch Impact player. Now tomorrow night we'll be back at home for a triple header, freshman, JV, and varsity, all boys, all night. And uh, we'll be on sometime before the varsity game begins for the live play-by-play -play action. Uh, so it'll be, I would reckon, sometime around 7.45, 7.30 to 7.45 will be on air for that. So. Yep, uh, 4.45 is the freshman game and followed by 6.15 to be the JV start. And yep. Right after that will be the uh, varsity game between uh, MOC so, and uh, the Mustangs. All right, so congratulations to Kayla Gherkin tonight, our Pizza yep. Ranch Impact player. And uh, good luck to the Jays. They'll go on to play. Tuesday night, they'll go on to play Akron-Westfield or Trinity Christian in the second round tournaments at Akron. All right. So I think we're going to sign off here and try to head her back to uh, George and Little Rock area. So thanks for listening tonight. Talk to you again tomorrow night. Good night, Good everybody. Good night, everybody.